So there's one about a husband and father who has successfully played the long game in his marriage after discovering his wife has been cheating on him. And not just cheating on him in the moment of the discovery, but also the entire duration of their marriage. You see that a prenup was set up before they got married by her parents, who have money, that uh, if he was married to her 10 years, after 10 years they divorced, he would get something out of it because she comes from money and obviously she's got money and she has a very high paying job. But if he, before 10 years, he wouldn't get anything. Well, he finds out she's cheating and you're going to see here, now he's the villain in her eyes for <laughs> playing the long game even though she's the one cheating. Title, am I the a-hole for waiting out my prenup before divorcing my cheating wife? He says, uh, my wife settled for me. I didn't know at the time when I married her, but I do, know, I do know now. She was in love with her high school boyfriend that her parents hated. She was with him all through university. Her parents finally told her that they would cut her off financially if she stayed with him. We met soon afterwards, and I fell in love. She did not. Once again, this was a surprise to me. So what do I say all the time about gals settling? There's the guys they really want, the high school boyfriends and college, the ones they ride the carousel with, or just the bad boys they're with. And for whatever reason, either it's family or because they realize those guys aren't marriage material, they settle for the nice guy. And then at the time, the guy, nice guy is clueless, thinking he, got the, he finally got the girl, just like the movie said, if he just waited and was patient enough and nice enough. And look what happens. So we had a prenup that her parents insisted on. That's interesting. I was in it for the long haul, so I had no problem with the prenup. I basically got nothing if we divorced before we were married for 10 years. After that, it was an even split as long as I was not the cause of the divorce. She was banging her old boyfriend our entire marriage. Oh my God. Not that I'm surprised or anybody should be surprised, but why the hell did this guy marry her? But He just probably had the blinders on. I found out after we were married for eight years. I was angry and depressed. I spent eight years supporting her and her career. Smack! She just smacked him earlier. She just smacked him for marrying her. It's always a bad, almost always, I'm going to say, almost always a bad situation when the guy has the woman supporting him. Because in her mind, <laughs> she didn't get a winner. She got a guy she has to support. A winner in her mind would be, and many women, that it's a guy that does better than her. They want a guy, ideally, that makes more money, higher status, higher education, so they can feel good they got a prize. Not some chump they pay the bills for. No. You should be the one. She should be supporting you. Spent years supporting her in her career. She had a much better paying job than I do. It is high profile, and she deals with our government a lot. So I decided that I could handle another two years of infidelity. I'd already done eight unknowingly. I filed for divorce on the day after our 10th anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> I let her parents pay for our vacation. Well, it's there in the prenup that uh, 10 years, and now he's going to get a piece because she makes more money than him, therefore meaning alimony and obviously other assets. Are, she's probably a trust fund brat, so some of that money is in there some way, somehow. I didn't do anything dirty like send the, the evidence I had to her parents. I just had a lawyer draft the claim for divorce. Included was the evidence that the prenup had lapsed and our holdings were to be split. She said that I blindsided her after our holiday away. She doesn't understand why I would do it. I said I, I just didn't think we were compatible anymore. So don't be, you don't have to show her parents all the evidence or the kids or anything like that just yet. But no, no, no. Let her know I know you're fucking cheating. Control the narrative. Do not let her control the narrative. Otherwise, she's a snake. She's a cheater. Your whole marriage. You think you can trust her? She's going to be play nice? You think she wants to give you half? Oh, no. I'm prepared to go nuclear if I have to. But I don't want our kids. I don't want our kids. Yes, they're mine. I check knowing why. I'm keeping the evidence I have on her boyfriend in my pocket. I can blow up this marriage and make her parents pissed at her if I absolutely must. I just prefer to end things with me in a decent financial position to take care of the kids. Am I the a-hole for what I did? No, you're not the a-hole. You're the a-hole for marrying her without really doing your homework on her and thinking that maybe you were different. But you're young and that's a mistake a lot of guys make. And maybe you're the a-hole for thinking, questioning you're the a-hole here. No, you know, you wait out two more years and now you're making out well. But here's the deal. You must control the narrative. If you let just, just be nice 
because you don't want to upset anybody or anything like that, I guarantee you. She's going to say, oh, you just married her for her money and you just waited around for the 10 year mark. That's what she's going to do. And she might even say other things, you know, you need to let her parents know that she was cheating. And guess what? They probably won't be surprised and they won't be surprised at who with. And frankly, I would tell the kids, you know, I, mean, I would say it in kid level, kid age appropriate words. I'm not, if you got photo evidence, I wouldn't be showing pictures of the kids with, with, with their mother with that guy's dick in her mouth. You don't want to be doing that, but you, you get the point as well as all friends and family and mutual friends and the FedEx driver, anybody you got to tell so she can't control it because she will because she's a freaking snake here. So you have to anticipate that and hopefully and I, but or or you make her aware I got evidence and I'll tell everybody. Otherwise, you know, so you better give me a pretty uh, amicable and reasonable divorce. But uh, so this guy is making out well and he played the long game and that's good. Well, I just hope he handles it right the divorce. I also hope that she doesn't get some stupid, clueless, nice guy, male judge who says, you did this the day after the 10 year mark. Oh no, no, you're not getting anything or some bullshit like that. But, but I'm, who knows? Who knows what could happen? So good job for this guy. Now some comments. Guy says here, even if you don't go nuclear, which I understand, I would still inform her that you know and have the evidence of her infidelity. She definitely seems like the type of person who would spin the narrative to make you look bad, and her knowing you have this will make that less likely to happen. At the very least, let her know I got all this evidence. He should have done that yesterday. Another one. She is going to tarnish your reputation and say you married her for the money. You will look bad not only to your kids, but to your friends and family as well. Tell the truth about her cheating being the reason for the end of your marriage. You don't have to tell anyone when you found out, but just tell them that you did in fact find out. Yeah, I wouldn't let anybody know that you knew this for two years. Let your, know, let your lawyer know that, but I wouldn't let her know you know him for two years. or Then otherwise they could you know, make you have to be the villain here. Did I hear the moral high ground? Because at the end of the day, it's her who married you for the money. Right. Her parents cut her off. So she, she pretended to cut off the boyfriend, found a guy who, in her mind, guaranteed would marry her because she is such a wonderful prize. She got her money. So she, yeah, she married this guy for the money. Timing the divorce exactly one day after 10 years may be looked down upon in court. You probably should have just held up for a few more months to not be so obvious. As is, it's pretty clear to anyone looking that you decided on divorcing earlier and delayed because of the prenup. A judge may factor this into the decisions on splitting assets regardless of the terms of the prenup. This poster has a good point. I thought the same fucking thing as I was reading down this story, you know, really. And one more. Sorry, my friend. You can't win here by being the bigger person. Right now, the narrative is you didn't love her. You never loved her. And we're playing her until the prenup was active. You probably cheated the whole marriage too, you monster. This is what she's going to tell people. Yes, she's going to twist it around. Both an ex-girlfriend and my ex-wife did this to me. Both cheated. We split over it. And everyone thought... They knew, thought I was a cheater and abuser. I never done either of these things. I have heard, I have heard it happened in most cases of infidelity. Nobody wants to be seen as the bad guy, especially bad people. Right. So good job for him for being strong enough to play the long game because you know at that point he's like, "Fuck, the bitch has been cheating on me for eight years. I'll hold out two more for the kids. Then the the, the divorce, the prenup, all that, and I'm going to make out get a nice little payday out of it. That could be his." severance for eight year or ten years of being with her and of course the years he was with her before they got married. I just hope those poor kids aren't too screwed up over this whole thing. But she's gonna go to the mattresses against him if he's not careful. He can't be the bigger person here. At the very least let her know I got all this evidence. And even then I tell everybody. And if she goes really nasty, show the evidence. Let her parents know. Let everybody know. So good job to this guy and we can all learn from his actions here.